day everybody today I am going to be doing a video on mail merge trying to fulfill a request by a subscriber so that's what I'm going to be doing today before I do that though I am going to remind you to subscribe like share comment and remember guys to watch the ads how do we create a mail merge from scratch First, you have to click on the mailings tab. Then, under the Start Mail Merge group, you will select the drop down arrow for Start Mail Merge. Then, you're going to click on the option that says Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard. When that appears, you will see on your right hand side a Mail Merge dialog box with some information and the steps that you have to follow to complete this mail merge. So the question on the right hand side says, what type of document are you working on? This document we will be working on is a letter. So we are going to let the option that says letter remain. So the letter that we are going to be typing is going to be from the owner of an apartment complex. So this apartment owner is going to be sending a letter to tell them about a rent increase that is going to be effective March 1, 2021. So after we select the option that says letter, you are going to look for next starting document. Right below where you see step one of six, you're going to click on the arrow that is beside next starting document so when you click on that you will see step two of six which says to select recipients all right but above that the question is asked how do you want to set up your letters use the current document which we're going to be using so we are going to be selecting that option then we are going to click on the next button which is right under step two of six, which says next select recipients. After you click on that, it says, do you want to use an existing list? Select from Outlook contacts, type a new list. We are going to be typing a new list. So we are going to select the option that says type a new list. So click on that and then click on create now you will notice that there are several fields that are there namely title first name last name company name address one and if you scroll across you will see some more but we do not want all of these fields so what we are going to do is to customize them so the columns that we need we're going to let remain and the ones that we don't want we're going to delete so we're going to click on the option that says customize columns once you click on it you will see the list of field names and you're going to keep what you don't what you want and delete what you don't want so we want title first name last name we don't want company name, so we are going to click on the company name and then select delete. Then yes, because we want to confirm that. We are going to let address line one and two remain. We're going to remove city, delete, yes. State, delete, yes. Zip code, delete, yes. All the things that I'm deleting, we do not need, so we need to get rid of it. So you will continue to delete what you do not want and, and leave what you want. If there is something else that is going to be needed that you will need to add, you can then add it. And we're going to need to add something. So I'm going to show you how you go about adding field names. So we have title, first name, last name, address one, address two. We're going to be uh, adding a, name, a field name called amount so we're going to click add and type amount and the amount is going to be there for the figure 
in terms of the increase of rent. After you have typed the name that you're adding, you will select OK. And then you will look in the field name list and notice that the amount that you added is now there. If you want to shift it up in terms of the position in which it should come, you can move it up or down. Just like you see over by the right hand side, the options over by the right hand side, you will see move up and move down. So if you want to move them up or down, you can position them. All right. Good. Um, I'm going to add another one called apartment number. Since it is an apartment complex, we're going to pretend as if we have different persons living on the complex. So we have different apartment number. So we're going to type apartment number. This is going to be the name of your field. And then select OK. And there you have it. You have all the field names that you need in your list. What if I want apartment number to come before amount? I can click on it and select move up. And there you go, apartment number is above amount. When you are through, you are going to select OK. And then you are now going to type your entries. Suppose we have say three residents on the apartment block. We're going to type in the information for these three residents. So in title, I will type Mr. First name, John. Last name, Smith. Amount is going to be 1,500. That's going to be the increase amount. The amount the rent will be increased by. And the apartment number, which I'm going to put. Apartment one. Then address line one is going to be Louisville Park an apartment address line 2 sorry it's going to be Mandeville then I would press tab to go to the next entry and then enter the next entry the next person is Mrs. Mary Johnson and the amount for the rent increase will go under amount and she is in apartment number two tab and it's the same address because this is it's an apartment complex so of course they will have the same address just different department so we're putting Louisville Park as address 1 and Mandeville as address 2. Tab to go to the next entry. To add the new entry, this time I'm going to put Dr. Paul Brown. So I'm entering the increase amount. The rent amount that it, the amount that the rent is going to be increased by and on the apartment number i'm going to type apartment three same louisville park and address line two mandeville all right when you are through entering your entries you will then click on ok it will then prompt you to save your recipient list. So we're going to be calling it apartment complex residence. That's what we're going to call it. And then click on save. This where you see data source apartment complex residence dot MDB. You can click on it. And then click on edit to see if there well if there is anything that you need to change or add you can always go there and fix what needs to be fixed 
in this case I have nothing to fix so what I'm going to do is click on OK it will ask you if you want if you want to save the changes even though you didn't make any change you have to click on yes and if you had of course obviously you would have to click on yes when you are through you will then click on OK then you are going to be writing your letter and in typing our letter of course we are going to ensure that we are at step four so we're going to click on the next the button that says next write your letter and then write our letter now to begin our letter we are going to insert the address block of the um, uh, recipients the persons who rent from the owner so when you click on address block it will show you different styles that you can type your letter in and i'm going to use the default one which is presented on the right side mr john smith Louisville park mandeville we're going to leave it like that and then select ok and that's what i want then you'll notice that address block is there and that's how it looks when you use mail merge to insert your information after the address block you will press the enter key twice and type dear and we're going to have mr sorry the title and the last name so whatever whether it is mr or mrs or doctor will appear first followed by their last name so we're going to go to the option that says more items then we're going to insert title first so click on title and then select insert and then last name and then insert and when you are through you will click on close between title and last name we need a space so we're going to put a space there put a comma and then press enter twice and start our letter Greetings This letter serves to inform you of your rent increase that is effective March 1, 2021 after you have typed that you're going to mention in the letter the amount that is going to be added to your current rent amount so you'll say the rent increase the rent will be increased it will be increased by and we're going to insert the amount that we had typed when we did our field names so we're going to go back to more items and insert amount and select insert then close so what you will notice is that again the mail merge look appears when you insert your next field name so each time you insert a field name you have that mail merge look which is a two greater than less than sign at both ends of what you inserted so greetings to this letter serves to inform you of your rent increase that is effective March 1, 2021. The rent will be increased by, and the amount goes there. Then you could say, thank you for your cooperation. Please feel free to contact me for further dialogue on this matter press enter twice and say yours truly And the owner's name would go under yours truly. 
so you could say the owner is Carmen oops Carmen Brown owner apartment complex all right so when you are through with your letter you can then preview your letter to see what it will look like with all the in insertions by the way before i do that i'm going to go below address block press enter to go below it and i'm going to go to more items and i'm going to put apartment number in it because we had added apartment number we are going to ensure that it is also in it we need to utilize the things that we added so i'm going to insert apartment number right below address block and then close then we're going to click on the next step right below step four of six you will see next preview your letters when you click on that option now you will see all the information that you had put in your data source so it is saying Mr. John Brown, Louisville Park, Mandeville Apartment 1. Dear Mr. Smith, and you will see the letter and right where you had amount, you will now notice that you will see $1,500. That is for recipient 1. If you look to your right hand side, you will see recipient 1. The arrow pointing to the right, the double arrow that is, is used to scroll through the recipient list. So if you want to see the remaining recipients and what it looks like, you can click on it. So if you notice, when I click on it, you will notice that it moves to the second recipient, which is Mrs. Mary Johnson, apartment two, same rent amount um, is there. When I click again, I will see recipient three. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to click on complete the merge. That's the last step step six of six you can edit individual letters the option is there to do that you can print if you want etc so now you're going to save your letter so i'm going to save it to my document list as rent increase letter and then select save guys I want to thank you for being with me today. Thank you for sticking with me. I do hope you have learned something. If you have any issue or any comment that you want to, you know, um, make, please feel free to make the comment in the comment section. By the way, guys, I have Louisville, Louisville spelled wrong on the Paul Brown. And to fix that, you remember what we had had done if we want to fix it we can go back to previous 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 and go to edit recipient list and then we have Louisville spelled wrong so we're going to go to data source click on the name of the data source and then edit and go to it's Paul Brown's address that was spelled wrong we can go there and fix it so it's L E W I S Louisville Park. Click back on OK. Yes to the changes made and then OK. Then we're going to go back to the end of the step and then complete your merge. Then click on save. So there we go. It is now fixed. So back to what I was saying. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, and watch the ads. Bye, guys.